when he got up and answered my door, he didn't ask who is it. He just opened the door and two black guys ran in. It was the start of several minutes of terror for Stephanie and her seven-year-old daughter. Someone else was in their home too, Stephanie's former co-worker, but she says the gunman basically ignored him and came for her and her daughter. Grabbed my daughter by her head. She had some long crochet braids and I had grabbed her by her head and put the gun like right here to the, like poking it like her in the eye and stuff and made her uh, get up. In a panic, the girl ran for the back door, but then stopped and came back into the living room. She said she didn't want to leave her pregnant mother behind. The gunman ignored the Christmas presents all neatly wrapped under the tree, but they did take Stephanie's phone and her purse, which had money for bills and more Christmas shopping in it, along with IDs and bank cards. As the robbers ran out, Stephanie noticed a third man had been on her porch. That's when her friend ran out. I was like telling him to call the police. I had to go across the street to the neighbors to call the police because they didn't take his phone or nothing. But that friend didn't call. He just drove away. It made me feel like he had it set up or had something to do with it. Now Stephanie and her daughter are left trying to settle their nerves. But it's hard because of the thieves' last words. They said they'll be back. Friends and family are going to be with them now, just in case. At 24th and Poplar, Peggy Bright, KMBC 9 News.